Chapter three of Find Your Way Home is Cry With Your Creator. I'm so sorry. That's what we say, isn't it? As soon as the tears start to flow, whether we're with friends or family, and certainly if we are at work or school or church, the first thing we do is apologize. We have this innate sense that we are burdening each other with our tears. We have this innate fear of the vulnerability that comes with those tears, that people will think that we are somehow less than because of them. We have a God who loved us so much that God became human so that God could know intimately what our humanity was like. We follow a Christ who wept at the death of his friend, who overturned tables in the temple and who cried out in despair from Gethsemane and the cross. And yet, when these emotions start to bubble up and emerge from us, our first impulse is to shut them down and even to apologize for daring to inflict them on each other. When we apologize for our tears, we literally are saying, I am so sorry that I was honest with you. I am so sorry that I was real with you. I am so sorry that I have burdened you with my humanity. That's not the church. If there should be one place where it is not only okay, but encouraged to cry, it should be in our community of faith. If we are to be the beloved community, We need to cultivate living spaces where we can cry with our creator, laugh with our creator, even rage with our creator. We live in an addictive society. America is an addictive society. And the three rules of an addictive family system are don't talk, don't trust, and don't feel. When we shut down tears, we play right into the hands of the addiction. And we will never heal that way. We will never heal as the church, and we will never heal as the world. But if we can cry with our Creator, if we can cry with God, we will find those tears honestly shed. They're going to heal our heart, and they will heal our world. And we will find that far from judging us, God is crying with us.